what's happening gamers, it's Kalen here, and today's review is Go Vacation for the Nintendo Wii, which released on October 11th, 2011, and was done by Namco Bandai Games. Some of you gamers are in for some serious deja vu though, especially when you're at the snow resort, as it looks identical to Namco's Wii Ski. Except now there is over 50 different activities instead of just skiing and snowboarding. At the start of the game, players get to select either playing as your Mii or an avatar. If you select a Mii, you won't be able to put on hats and some accessories though. That and your Mii is doomed to look like a freaking alien to the rest of the inhabitants on the island. The game opens up with a beautiful cinematic of an airplane arriving at the island where the resorts are located. Each part of the island houses one of four resorts, from the marine resort, city, snow, and mountain resort. If you're playing solo, then the game begins at the marine resort. Here players have the opportunity to explore the beach either by walking or riding different vehicles such as a jet ski or ATV to reach your desired destination. In order for more activities to become unlocked, you have to do this by collecting stamps. This is done by completing the different activities. After doing this, the information center becomes available to you and you'll be able to learn how to play the game, change your outfits for your avatar, and eventually move on to the next resort altogether. Once a few games have been unlocked, you can play them at any time by visiting the main menu. That and you don't need to traverse the island if you don't want to, so this saves a lot of time. This menu allows you to visit the resorts much faster and also a shortcut to the school to see the different minigames, check out your photo album, and of course the balloon message board which is used for finding the different treasures located on the island. And of course when I mean treasures, I really mean more costumes and accessory for your avatars. If you've played Wii Ski, then the gameplay will seem pretty straightforward for you. In order to walk, you just move the joystick around, and for all vehicles, and yes, even skateboarding, you will need to move the Wiimote and Nunchuck and use the motion controls. The waggling can work sometimes too. Go Vacation allows for up to four people to play using the split screen, but there is no Wi-Fi or online play. Every once in a while, you'll come across a minigame that only uses the Wiimote, and a few that will use Wii Motion Plus. Another control setup you can use if you want to is hook up the Wii Balance Board, but I didn't mess around with that. And with that being said, time for us to talk about what I didn't like about this game. Honestly, a few things about it still really bug me. While I can appreciate the simplicity and variety of sports and activities to play, I don't appreciate the waggle controls and limitation Namco offers yet again. Just like with Wii Ski, Go Vacation can only be played using the motion controls. And they missed a huge opportunity by doing this yet again. I think the game would have been a lot better had it had the option to let you drive the vehicles using the joystick. Or at least have you unplug the nunchuck so you can just use the Wiimote sideways to drive like in Mario Kart and some other driving games. But I will admit, driving the vehicles, skiing, etc. you do get used to over time. Though only by a trick I recently discovered. This is done by keeping the Wiimote completely straight and only moving the nunchuck to steer your vehicle, skis, skates, etc, etc. However, if you play the game the way they direct you to, well, then the new stuff like skateboarding and inline skating will not succeed at all. This also made stuff like performing tricks a nightmare and took away a lot of the fun factor and that's a real shame. As far as the minigames with just the Wii Mote, uh, it really doesn't work that well and it's just waggle fest. I mean, seriously, what is the deal here? That and not all the Wii Mote only games work. Case in point, mini golf. Can somebody tell me how do you screw up mini golf? For crying out loud, just use Wii Sports as an example, Namco. The controls for mini golf is so bad and unresponsive. It even has a delayed reaction to your swing, even with Wii Motion Plus. Wow, just wow. Skydiving was a joke too, and very bad. Here the controls seem to get all goofy, and same goes for the dance game and the terrible hang gliding stages, and a lot of others too. Though while I'm on this, one of the things I enjoyed about Wii Sports Resort was flying the airplane. You all remember that, right? But for some odd reason, the developer thought it would be awesome to make you a passenger instead of the pilot. So yeah, I can see how that meeting went. You know what would be awesome to have in this game? Know what, Drafter? An airplane tour! You know what? That's brilliant! Make it happen! Uh, Still, I have some minor nitpicking for this game, and it goes back to the original games in the series. Once again, you can't communicate with the non-playable characters. The NPCs just stand there and have their own emotions, but you can't talk to them. This kind of reminds me of that anime Angel Beats, where the people are like soulless dolls, and you can't really interact with them, they're just there. That's exactly what this game is like. They just stand there, they don't do anything, but you can hit them with their car and they can hit you. 
but that's about it. Look, I can easily go on and on kicking this game while it's down, but that's really not the nature of my reviews, so let's focus on the game's good qualities, and believe it or not, it has some. Graphics and music weren't too bad for this game, though it's still not the best. But if you didn't mind the previous games in the series, then you won't mind Go Vacations, visuals, and music all that much either. I would be lying if I said this game wasn't fun though, because even with its faults, it's a blast to play. Why is this? Well, it's because Namco Bandai packed this game chock full of content. That's why. There is just way too much to do in this game, and that's a good thing, gamers. However, I will only be covering the activities I really liked and played a lot for this review. If you want to see additional stuff about this game and all the different activities, check out K-Wife's channel in the coming weeks and months for more on this game, as she did like it. Anyway, one of the things I really liked about this game is the car racing. Personally, I think this is a tribute to Ridge Racer. But then again, Namco made the game, so yeah, no-brainer, right? What's so great about this minigame is it's more than one racetrack can be played at different times during the day and the challenge aspect increases with each new race. That's awesome! My only issue with racing is it's the same music track over and over again, so that can get kind of boring. Another game I really liked has to be the sword battle. Folks, this is the closest we will get to a Wii Motion Plus lightsaber game, and for what it is, the sword fighting works, and very well I might add. I was blown away how well the controls worked and how much fun this minigame was to play. Exploring the island is a lot of fun, but it's even better when you have the freedom to do whatever you want and take your time doing so. This also includes going for a joyride in your vehicles too, but before I get to that, at the city resort I really liked just heading to the skate park and doing some tricks and grinding rails around the city. That was pretty awesome. Fans of Wii Ski will also notice an update in the gameplay, at least for skiing and some of the other new activities. Plus, just like the older games, if you don't want to spend time exploring the resort locations, just pause the game and select on the map where you want to go. This cuts down on a lot of running around the resorts and aimlessly exploring stuff if you don't want to. Unless, of course, you like riding the vehicles like me. Now, each location gives you a different means of transportation, and if you don't want to use those, then you can always hop a boat, plane, train, whatever. Frankly, I just use the ATVs, Jeeps, and snowmobiles to get from point A to point B and just explore wherever I want to go. Though this isn't really a minigame in the sense, I really love doing this and it was really fun to just go for a Sunday drive so to speak and see all the different parts of the resort using one of these vehicles. I know what you're all thinking, this game sounds pretty good, but does it have any lasting appeal? And the answer is yes, yes it does. Aside from everything I mentioned, once you acquire 20 activities, the game rewards you with the option of changing the time of day. Then after a few more stamps, you get your own villa, and you can decorate it however you want to. Plus, Namco has thrown in seven well-hidden treasure chests in each resort and other achievements for die-hard completionists for this game, like delivering mail, searching for items, etc, etc. So, is this game worth getting or not? While the Peanut Butter Gamer and myself both enjoyed the Wii Ski series over the years, I personally always felt that it didn't really have enough to offer the player in the long run. However, Go Vacation definitely will give you lots to do and have you playing for a very long time to come. Plus, from what I played, about 20 games justify owning this game right off the bat. This is also a very great minigame completion to play with your friends, and my wife had a lot of fun playing this game with me or solo as well. Truthfully, based on all the content packed into this game, it's definitely better than most of the minigames or arcade sports completions you'll find for the Wii. Plus, for $29.99, I think it's worth a buy. Even most critics have given this game a 7 or so and think it's a pretty decent game. Still, if you're a skeptic about this game and Wii games in general, try doing a weekend rental of this to see if it's up to par or not. Well, this wraps up another K-Wing video review. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Just so you know, I have a Facebook and Twitter where you can track me or an album on iTunes if you want to listen to some really cool video game tunes. That's all. Have a great rest of the day, and until we meet again, gamers, God bless and happy gaming. Until the next time.